start this video, I'd like to say a little prayer for my pimple. She's really big. And she looks like a nipple. And I... Get out! We will go over the whole... We're just gonna wait for certain spirits to leave the room. Make sure we're in a good space. And then we'll get started with a proper intro. I don't know Okay. I wasn't talking about you. Oh my god. I was talking about him. Right now, I'm about to watch episode 9 and episode 10. So this, these are the last two episodes for Scum Belgium. And then uh, this is quite possibly the last season 3 remake that has ever remaked. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. I mean, I have been trying to look in at Scum Austin, but I don't know how far along that is and really what's going on behind the scenes there. So it's just been, just been a whirlwind of a mess and stress. Like... <laughs> What's the difference between real life? I have no idea. All I'm having today is coffee. I know I had like a full meal last last week while I served you a full meal. I'm just kidding. Um, but right now I'm just gonna have coffee because I, I don't want to throw up. If I get really emotional, sometimes I cry from both my eyes and then my mouth. And it's just not, it's not sexy. Let's all take a collective deep breath. Because I know we all need it. We found him. He's right there. Yeah? Sander is bipolar, okay? Hij is niet verliefd op je. Je hebt het gewoon zijn volgende obsessie en zijn volgende fantasie die hem volledig opslorpt. What? That doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense that she's saying these things because she's only been with him for six months. How many times has he cheated on you in like six months and then he just kept coming back to you? I know that there are people in the comment section in my last video that really put it into words so much better than I ever could. But it's... It's things like this that really get to me and throw me off of what the fuck. Like, I can't view it. It wants to be separate from the original, but at the same time, it makes its characters go on the same path and have the same reactions as the original characters to situations that are entirely different. Brit and Robo have only been dating for six months, whereas Sonia and Evan have been dating for years. So he probably has done this in the past several times and it would make sense for the girlfriend to say these things because she knows him so much better. There's little to no insecurity with the time in which the girlfriend and Evan had been together versus the time in which Isaac and Evan had known each other. There's no competition there. There's no insecurity there. And that's what's lacking in this and why this entire situation doesn't hit as hard. It's not as effective because... Brit, you've only known him for six months. Like, I could fucking know him better than you. Milan, when he gave the same exact advice that his skill did in the original, didn't make sense for that scene. You know why? Because during the time that Isaac went to his skilled and he enumerated all of the ways in which Evan was being so fucking confusing, it genuinely sounded from a third-party perspective that Evan was just having fun and fucking around. Whereas with Xander, he painted a mural of Robba's face. If you're just fucking with someone, you don't paint their face on walls in public areas and then send them like, like that's a, basically a declaration of love, especially when it's like something that you've talked about with them and it just doesn't make sense, bruh. So, uh, I'm, I'm tired. Nee, the vorige keer toen hij zo'n man is, dat heeft hij alle lyrics van Boy van buiten lid. What? What? The last time that he was in Mania, he memorized all of Bowie's lyrics. He likes Bowie! <laughs> Even that doesn't hit as hard. Because in the ori- Well, listen. If you've seen the original, here's a comparison. And I hate having to compare them both, but they're literally doing it word for word. In the original, Sonia's original statement was, Last year when he had an episode, he memorized the entire Quran. If you take that as a separate element, if you were to just hear that that's something that this guy did, it does sound random. Whereas hearing that, oh, he's bipolar because last time he memorized all of Bowie's lyrics, that's not that random and strange. I'm trying to be careful with my words here because I don't want to offend anyone. But you know what? Like, it doesn't sound that out there. You're making it worse. He turned it into his background, bro. This version of this song is so good. Where is my mind? Where is my mind? Where is my mind? She had the miracle. Listen, I haven't seen the first season. I don't know what her relationship because this is Eva, right? Like, I don't know what her relationship is with Brit now. But just because you fucked up her life doesn't mean that everyone else around Brit is trying to fuck up her life. You fucked up. Robert didn't. 
Jij kunt hem daarbij helpen. Misschien door niet te willen helpen. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. You are insane. You didn't even talk to him. Dan was jullie examen. Easy peasy man. Ça va. Great. We hebben kort van hem. Sander is opgenomen. Wat? Of klopt dat niet? Hello? Oh my god, I can sense it. This is it. This is that scene. Listen, if I end up murdering someone tonight, it's not gonna be anyone innocent. It'll probably be my best friend because he's here. And I'm gonna kill him out of frustration. Yeah, but in overdrive, the, these boats are still beginning to open. They're uh, bluchten, bluchten. But had he, had he something packed or so? Yeah. We were high on weed. Because, uh, I missed all It's heavy shit. Yeah, man. Yeah? Mijn, mijn moeder heeft dat ook. Oh. My. God. Yeah. I'm gonna murder my best friend. Hold on one second. What? <laughs> During the time that Robo was spiraling, and this was when they were out of the city, they traveled to the beach and whatnot, and they were having a little getaway, and it was cute, but then Robba lost his goddamn mind, and then he said something like, Stop talking! It's shit in my own dick! Like, fuck off! And then he walked out, right? No sign of sympathy from the boy squad in general, but also just no sign of, like, any sort of sympathy coming from this dude. If you grew up with that kind of home life and background, I would assume that there would be some sort of, like, special like place like hearing things like that things that robo would say like someone that you claim is your best friend if they say something like i'm already having a tough time with my parents i don't have to deal with this shit wouldn't that trigger something in you wouldn't that like th somehow encourage you to check on your boy and be like hey you cool like what's up and the whole thing with having magnus be the character that has a bipolar mom played pivotal roles for two characters. The first one is Isak, yeah, because if it weren't for him, then Isak would have never understood, or at least tried to understand Evan, and then tried to salvage their relationship and what they have. And then the other follow through for that entire character, like arc and like story is with Vilda. Whereas this, this whole thing with Mojo just actually feels like, like their one last attempt at making him somewhat acceptable. As if to slap us in the face like, ha ha, you hated this guy in the beginning, but look, look, look how pivotal his role actually is. Yeah, it feels like that. It just feels like that to me. It, it, like a like a little switcheroo, like a little gotcha moment. It's not necessarily to add depth to the character. It's not necessarily to like make anything more complex. It's just for shock value. It's so empty. How a bit stabil. Dus dat is gewoon een topmoeder eigenlijk. En hoe moet jij er gewoon voor zijn? Gewoon niet te ver vooruit denken en zo. Gewoon dag per dag. Oh my god, the minute for minute they give the I. Mm. Oh is dat my god. <laughs> Fucking deep gast. Mm. This is the same dude that would stare creepily at girls at, what's her name, at Noor that time that Robo walked out on her when they were about to get freaky. All of the crass language that he would use about women. You hit that yet? You fuck that yet? And that's supposedly Robo's future girlfriend. The same dude who said that bisexuality is gross. Great. This is one and the same. The same guy who thinks that you should take everything minute by minute and not think like so far ahead with things. This is the same like wise dude. So believable. I tried to be different. We both tried to listen. I'm sorry that I had to leave you behind. All of Call him. How can you just wait patiently for a response? Call him. What do you? I see what's happening there. Robo has given up on the bread because it's stale and there's nothing else that we could do about it. But then Milan is here to offer, offer a different perspective. He's like, no, it's not stale. We can do something about it. If you really want to, we can like make French toast. We can make like bread pudding or something. There's always going to be a way to take care of something. You don't have to give up that easily. As, but don't you see? Robo and Xander are the bread. 
it's not gone stale. You can still do something about it. There's still something there that you can save as long as you want to, as long as it's in your heart. What? Pencil tape, you scared of me? No. That is echt the snack tegen a broken heart. No, it's not. The perfect snack to mend a broken heart is bourbon, and you know that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, leave him alone. He doesn't want your fucking dose. Let him cry. Jesus Christ. What? You know what? I don't even disagree with him. That's really good advice. If you want some sort of break to take from like studying and things like that, masturbate. Because it's the one it's the one that's gonna like really pull you out of that funk and maybe like refresh and reset your entire body. And then you'll be ready again to like study. Right now, really? Oh my god, he's really doing it. You're really doing this. Why am I not believing? Of course, you would do this. In my last video, there was someone there that asked me the question that I think maybe many of you right now are starting to. <laughs> maybe a lot of you have the same question right now, and so I'll address it. The question was I don't understand if you like this show or not. You're being too vague. There's really no straight answer to that, man. Like, I can't tell you that I like it. I can't tell you that I fully hate it. Like, I'm invested in certain parts. There are moments where these actors shine as well. There are scenes where their acting skills are put on full display and I can appreciate that. But ultimately, I have no... Like, I feel okay about it. Because when it comes to the writing, which is also a huge part of what has me investing in a show, and writing also has to do not just with the plot, but like with the characters and the decisions that they make, the interactions that they have. If they fall flat, then basically everything else too is ruined for me because it kind of pulls me out of the experience. And it's not as immersive as it can be. You know, kind of like a pebble in your shoe when you're walking, like it's always gonna bother me. So I'm back. I uh, went out and did some stuff. If you want to know what those things are, follow me on Instagram. They are not interesting. Actually, don't follow me. Actually, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> it's been a few hours since I stopped recording. I would like to, in case you're interested, you know what? I know you are. I know you're interested. As you can see, still no white head, but we're getting there. I'm hoping for something poppable. Maybe if I play my cards right tonight, rub some dirt on it, it'll just pop off by itself. That's the pimple update. I know you've been waiting for it. There you go. I give the people what they want. In my time alone, like as I was, you know, going about the city and doing my thing, because I did share in my stories how I'm feeling so far about episode 9. I've been getting a lot of mixed reactions from people in response to that Instagram story. I have some people saying that, hey, episode 10 is not going to make it any better. Then there are some people that are telling me that it gets way better by episode 10. So I really don't know what to expect. I think that it's very interesting though how polarizing the season has been. <laughs> Britney said it all not echt for him, so I thought that better was that I had done it make for the whole time. Ik dacht toch altijd dat relaties tussen mannen simpeler zouden zijn. Meer recht toe, recht aan en minder gedoe over emoties. En... I guess that's a safe assumption to make. I mean, this is a good way to show that it's all sorts of conflict, whether it's between a heterosexual couple, a gay one, whatever, whatever other couple exists out there. You have the same types of troubles, man, because love is universal. I want those chips that he's eating. I'm hungry. Ik zou dat toch face to face willen horen. Hij pak niet op als ik hem bel. Face to face, Robin. This guy with the same guy that walks out every time. I mean, listen, I'm not trying to drag him in any which way. I'm just saying, like, practice what you preach sometimes, you know? <laughs> that was kind of a drag. It was a little bit, it wasn't like a full drag, it was a small tug. And I didn't mean that. In. See you next week, guys. Yo! My face. Oh. She's. Oh. What? What? Where'd he go? Yeah, he um, has zich uitgecheckt in Ice Week. Yeah, als je vrijwillig laat opnemen, kunnen ze ook niet tegenhouden als je door wilt, blijkbaar. Sander is er niet. Sander, uh, als je dit hoort, wil je alsjeblieft iets laten weten. Iets laten weten. There's like um, zero subtlety in that. That's like. And he used like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He used seven uh, pencils to draw him. That's effort. First of all, though, in an institution, 
I don't think you're allowed to have sharp objects like uh, like a scissor and sharpener because these have blades in them. Where is he? Why isn't anyone panicking more about this? Why isn't no one like calling his parents? Alle behält sich doch funny. Ich bin jetzt die Wohnung. Geh in Kontakt. There's so many of them though. Which one? By the bikes? Where the bikes are parked? Is it that area? Why there? Why is that safe? That's out in public. Yeah, no, it wouldn't be there. It's the same song too that was playing when they had that little moment in the tunnel and their first kiss. Oh, that was so cute. Oh my god. Like a comic book. It's like the fucking opening to Marvel. And oh my god, the coloring for the memories in this one are actually warmer. I've always had this question about the previous versions of Scum, especially in the original because it was so subtle. Like you couldn't tell if it was, um, if in the flashbacks that Isaac had of Evan, was the coloring warmer than the actual events when they were happening. Yeah, that's cute as hell though. The sound of the paper too, sorry. Like I get it, I get what they're doing with the editing and stuff, but so Xander drew all of these little sketches of them. You found him? No, really? Oh my God. There they are, they're all the, the photos and the sketches all around his wall. <laughs> oh, oh, I get it. So this space where he's in is not necessarily the safe place. The safe place is him turning it into a safe place by filling it with his memories of Robin, like sketching them out and putting them on paper and sticking them in the walls. Like he's trying to remain safe by keeping, like shielding himself with all of his sketches of Robin. Now I'm, oh my God, I'm hurting myself. And the fact that they focused on this one too, maybe this is the last time he ever felt safe. You are a little toxic. I can't disagree with that. Xander does seem like the most toxic of the previous Evans. And the reason why I say that is because of the way he's written. Xander is a complete departure from Evan. But if you were to think back to the time that Xander went back to Brit after they had gotten beaten up and then didn't want to go to the police, and for those of you that have been watching these this series of videos for a while, you're probably like, oh my god, not this again. No, bro, we have to talk about it. Because if you're gonna put something like that in your show and then just flash it and not address it again ever, then what the fuck was the point? It created no tension to them moving forward because after after the fact, they were still okay and they were talking. And there was no reason for Xander to go back to Brit. Whereas with the previous Evans, there was always some sort of explanation. It was it was still wrong, but there was always a, a somewhat of a justification that you could form in your head for why they acted the way that they did. With Xander, there was none of that. They Xander just took on all of the wrongdoings of the previous Evans with none of the motivations. So that just makes him look toxic. And I really wanna get into it, I really do, because the way in which they had reunited here, it isn't even done yet. That was really clever what they did. And that whole thing with, with Xander and the, the safe space and then Chernobyl and all of that, it's cute but it doesn't make up for all of these inconsistencies. Let me give you a nod to it, you fool. Hey. I said to you now, I asked you to ask me. I can't ask you to ask me. No, 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 Oh my god, I just got I'm sorry, I interrupted this again. I, I just got chills at the thought of like a universe existing where Evan didn't make it. I don't want that season. <laughs> Let's never show that season. You know what? It doesn't exist. I, I don't even believe in it. Fuck that. I love that the, the Eva characters always have like a signature song. This one's like one of these very beautiful so I really like this one but I also like last dance from scum France that was so good and then oh kissing you 
And you know what? Never mind. I was gonna try to like compare and contrast, but no. Music is beautiful. <laughs> music is just like the music has been so good with Scum. One minute, Scum. Oh, this is chill. That was like straight from Isaac and Evan. It is chill. Oh, 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 that hit me. I didn't, I didn't expect that. Oh, I'm so happy I found you. Come on. That's the sweetest. Oh, no. Absolutely not! He has to go to school, that's it. Aww. Oh, yes, indeed. This is what we deserve, man. This sweet little fluff right here. Oh, wait. That's the school for me. It's good. I don't like it as if I'm so. Me. Me. I don't know what I'm No, say it! Bruce. Me. Sorry, man. I don't want to be that person. I guess I just clearly don't like this character at all. But that doesn't mean that I have to be unfair with him. I think that I can see where this progression of him suddenly apologizing comes from. I think because now there's this relation that he can make between Xander and his mom that he can now make that connection and sort of feel like Xander isn't that much of a stranger because he he and his mom, Mojo's mom, share something that Mojo understands. And maybe that crumb of something was enough to motivate him to apologize, to sympathize, to empathize, all of the thighs. I mean, good on Robo. He didn't lose anyone in his coming out. From a scale of 1 to 10, how lekker ben ik? And how ziet die scale dan uit? One is self not as a matter for betalen and 10 is Zendaya. Zendaya is a 20 and we all know that. I can't believe you called her a 10. The blasphemy. You guys want to do it? Oh, my God. No, sorry. Van ons three kies je mij toch? No. I don't want to do it. We I think if it was a choice between the three of them, it's clear that Robo would choose, you know, you know, death. <laughs> I'm not desperate, he said desperately. Zoe buying another shade of red lipstick that's almost identical to her current lipstick is a fucking fat mood. So, so far in Scum, I've got my bisexual representation, I've got my lipstick hoarding representation, I just need an Asian fuck up to, <laughs> to show up in one of these <laughs> remakes and then I'll be happy. <laughs> I love not being invisible. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's me too. I can never shop for perfumes for some reason. Like I don't understand. Like I feel like I have such bad taste with perfumes. Certain perfumes will smell good to me and then someone else will say something like, it actually smells like a hotel bathroom. And then I'll smell it and I can no, I can no longer unsmell it. Thank you for the not knowing how to buy perfume properly and choose it properly without smelling like a hotel bathroom representation. I love it. I love not being invisible anymore. Oh, hey bitch. Excuse me. Have you also in spas? Zoe's like, am I a fucking joke to you? Yes, it's all well, okay. Oh, she's so cool! Robin never deserved her. <laughs> no one deserves her. What was it? What did he get? Oh, bean boozled. Cute. I guess you'd use it for a video. If that video was for five years ago. Oh, come on! Yo, if this right here, this right here, we get this as a thruple, am I right? Okay, okay, I'm going to go to my clothes. Okay. Ew! What? It's a bit cliche, but you don't know that tomorrow lives and we sterft. Oh, 
Oh, also it's over. Yay. I mean, not yay that it's over. Yay that it happened. So that was what the fuck or scum Belgium. Listen. <laughs> It never goes well with you. <laughs> the one thing that I want to get out there is that I have no issues with the actors. I think the performances are great. It has some wonderful editing and aesthetic in general moments. The inconsistencies in the writing of this, in the plot, is so glaringly obvious and I can't overlook it simply because it's a pretty show. It's not my least favorite remake. But it most certainly isn't a favorite. Your least favorite remake, though. Oh. We will get you fish. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this season with me, or by yourself, or with other people. You're free to see who you want. I'm not gonna stop you. It's fine. Thank you for looking at me like. <laughs> Happy holidays, you guys. I have another video coming out for 5,000 subs. Uh, oh, yeah. Thank you for 5,000 subs. <laughs> oh, 5,000 subs. I think last year, today, I was struggling to get to 1,000. I'm now going to get ready to watch Midsommar once again and celebrate, I don't know, just being alive. <laughs>